first story I want to get into is Trump with what happened with a civil fraud fine. Here's some things that we need to know about on this case. Uh, 13 Trump properties that New York AG Letitia James can go after if he doesn't pay up. So this was a story from last week. They're going to go after this property. They're going to go after that property. Everybody on the left was fired up about them going after all of these properties. And they were so excited about it. First one was a Seven Springs. The property spanning over 200 acres in Westchester County was fraudulently valued by Trump's Trump at $291 million. Remember, this article is written by Insider, just so you know. So the words they use, you can see certain words they're using. Whereas it actual net worth is $25 million, according to Forbes. So this one here they can go after. They can go after Westchester Golf Club, which is valued at around $15 million, assessed initially at $15 million, depending on what the number. Again, you're trusting what insiders are saying. 40 Wall Street, okay, is the other one. You got Trump Tower Triplex Apartment. You got Trump Tower Commercial Space. You got 1290 Avenue of Americas, Trump World Tower, Trump Park Avenue, okay, uh, they're saying it's worth 101 million, but claiming up to 350 million. Six East Street, 57th Street, Trump Plaza, Trump Park, Trump International Hotel and Tower, Trump Palace. All of these things they wrote. You know which one they didn't write? They didn't write uh, Mar-a-Lago because even CNN, when they said Mar-a-Lago was worth only 18 million dollars, later on they came back and said Mar-a-Lago can be sold today for 240 million dollars. Even they realized what the value was. However. Trump can now post smaller bond in civil fraud case. New York appeals court granted Donald J. Trump a significant victory by accepting a bond of $175 million in a civil fraud case, providing relief from a potential financial crisis. This smaller bond offers a crucial lifeline for Trump, preventing the New York Attorney General office from collecting the judgment while he appeals. Trump's lawyer argued that the trial judge $454 million penalty was excessive and unconstitutional, emphasizing the likelihood of overturning it on appeal. The penalty stemmed from accusations of inflating net worth to obtaining for, uh, favorable loans, leading to interest payments, et cetera, et cetera, right? Anyways, so this just happened, Tom. How big of a deal and how big of a victory is this for Trump? Well, it, it's, not a, it's a victory for Trump, but it's a return to sanity for the court. When you have a judgment like this, when you go to appeal, you have the opportunity to wait. If you were to look at all the judgment, look at the asbestos case. Look at the um, what was the uh, uh, Camp Lejeune that had the water purification issues um, and the poisoning of, of soldiers. You take a look at all these fraud cases. Nobody gets a nickel to all these cases. They get appealed. They get appealed. They get appealed. Nobody gets a nickel because we have due process. And so asking him to put the full amount up is like saying, never mind. Never mind. We're not going to worry about, um, you know, the appeal process or due process. You just put the money here. Well, she wouldn't get the money. It would be held by the state. And so bringing this back down is just like bringing bail down. You know, when you've committed a crime or something, they, they have bail to ensure that you'll show up in court. And so moving this down is the right thing to do because it's what happens in our court process. They were treating him differently. This is a return to sanity. This is the right move by the courts. And by the way, there's a lot of people not speaking into the microphone that want this to happen because other civil fraud cases and stuff, they don't want it to happen either. Yeah. By the way, do you know what was the amount of Bernie Madoff's uh, scheme? Can you pull up what Bernie Madoff's scheme was? How much money did he scheme from people? They gave him life in prison, right? Yeah, that's well, not, that's a lot. Can you pull up Your how much? life. <laughs> He's dead now. What's yeah, the good. dollar? Watch yeah. this here. In 2009, 64. the Southern District of New York charged Bernie Madoff for his $64 mm-hmm. billion yeah. dollar securities fraud Ponzi scheme. It was one of the most prolific financial crimes in Amer- American history. It is the most prolific financial crimes. Do you know what his bill was? Do you know what his, do you guys know what his bill was? No. I want you to guess what his bill was. 10%. Okay. 10% will be 6.4 billion, right? Do me a favor. Go pull up. No, not that high. No. Go, that go pull up Bernie Madoff's bail amount right there. December 10 2008 million. was arrested and charged securities fraud. Madoff posted a $10 million bill in December 2008. Remained under 24 hour monitor and house arrest in the Upper East Side penthouse mm-hmm. apartment until his guilty plea on March 12th, 2009. This guy stole 60 plus billion dollars from people in New York 
Just $10 million. <laughs> this is actual <clears throat> Ponzi. Like, it's actual yeah. scheme. Like, theft. Yeah. And it's only $10 million. Go ahead, Tom. And, by the way, it was 24-hour monitoring and house arrest. Because you want to know why? They were scared that he might go somewhere, that there would be no extradition. Something that big for a guy that old? He's only got 20 years left. They thought he would flee the country. Is Trump going to flee the country? No. He wants to stay here and run it. He's the most and by the recognizable way, now, person. Now, check this out. Go to SPF. Can you go to SPF real quick? What did SBF do? SBF lost how much money? We know the number. It's $32 billion. I think it's what the number is. If you want to kind of, uh, uh, if you type in, he cost, he cost, he lost $32 billion overnight. That's the number. But if you zoom in, type in $32 billion, zoom in right there. Uh, FTX was valued at $32 billion. Okay. So what's his bill? Can you put up SBF's bill amount? Okay. Sam Bankman Freed, bill, bill amount. Yeah. $250 million, okay? On how much money? On $32 billion, oh, 10, $32 billion mm-hmm. you put two fifty. So, now these guys actually did a crime. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. And were flight risk. Yes. Both of them committed a crime. On the other end, everybody got paid. Appraisals were done on both ends. No lender is coming out, but you go after him to deplete of all his savings and his cash for a crime that's done by who? way of doing business in New York that's been like that for decades? You want to do something like this? If, if this stands the way that they're doing what they're doing, can you pull up the uh, video of Frank Luntz, by the way, on what he said, Rob? I think these kind of go together. If you go to Frank's video, here's Frank, okay, and what he's saying. I don't know if that's the video. No, that was, yeah, if you can, okay, check this out, guys. Sweetheart of a lady. Go play this clip real quick. I want you to remember this moment, and don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all going to be on camera. Pundits are going to sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. If they take his stuff, he's going to say that this is proof that the federal government and the establishment and the swamp in Washington, and all the politicians across the country, and the attorneys generals, and all of this, that this is a conspiracy to deny him the presidency. He's going to go up in the polls just like he went up every single time they indicted him. It, isn't it, it's wild. <clears throat> he's right. It? But do you agree with what he's saying? I, I, I he's 100% n- right. N- in the past polls that have been going on for a year now, yeah. yep. when Georgia, when Stormy Daniels, when all this stuff, you go after him and the polls go up. We have the evidence of that happening for the past year. Well, like, and Tom, th- none of their tactics are working. And let, 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 let's, let's say it out loud what's happening. From 2016, they cheated with Hillary and the DNC. Didn't work. Four years we had to hear that bullshit. And then we had to have all the impeachments, right? 2020, COVID from China, randomly, our lab. BLM, Antifa, in the streets, everything. Cheating, got them out. They're not, this is cheating out in the open. This is them going, hey, listen, we know he's number one. We have to take him out. They're not even hiding it anymore. And I think every time they do shit like this, and you nailed it, Tom, his numbers are going up, and they're making him look out to be a freaking martyr. Adam. Period. So, like I always say, FTM, follow the money. Uh, by the way, breaking news with everything that happened with True Social, Trump has now doubled his net worth. Trump's net worth, I sent this to you, Rob, is now... So six, we're going we're to get into that yeah, in a minute. $6.5 billion. So I know we're going to talk about True Social, but always follow the money. So we've always talked about how back in the day with JFK or whether it's Abraham Lincoln, it was actual assassination. Right. Lately, it's turned into character assassination what they've realized with donald trump you can't assassinate his character because he said everything in the world and beyond yet he's still here Mm -hmm. so now it's financial assassination and that's how they're going after him so letitia james look i don't know much about her here's what i do know 2018 she called trump an illegitimate president she said that cool so now The election interference, it sort of makes sense. By the way, there's a whole DEI woke narrative, straight, rich, white, billionaire, patriarchy, you know, black, female, woke agenda. You know, there's a storyline right there. But the thing I know about Trump, Teflon Don, like this guy doesn't quit. I sent you videos videos of like, whether you like Trump, don't like Trump, love Trump, hate Trump, there's certain things that remain to be true. This guy does not 
Stop. Bro, have you had tea today or not? I have tea. It's fine. Where's your tea? I'm warming it up, baby. Oh, where's your tea? I don't I don't Here, can't afford one of those tea, cups. Take this tea. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. I'll be good. Drink your tea. So the um you're not gonna kill Trump. Here's just some videos to put it in perspective. Play this one right now. If you think Trump is going away, Democrats, this is his mantra. Check Thanks. this out. Never ever quit. Never quit. And I've seen people quitting. And if they would have held out longer, they would have been successful. I've seen it so much. I've seen some of the most brilliant people in the world that never made it because they were quitters. They were just quitters. They would quit. They would. They just couldn't take it. They couldn't whatever. Now, you have to also have flexibility, though. You can't necessarily say, I'm never giving up. I'm going to. And you got to be able to weave and bob. You don't have to go through a, a concrete wall when you can go over it or around it or under it or something. You have to have flexibility. You have to always be able to change course a little bit, but don't quit. One of there you go. So, you know, whether it's 175 million now that they reduced it to, Versus what the 575, whatever the number was, this pales in comparison to what Trump deal, dealt with in the 90s. This guy owed almost a billion dollars, 900 million dollars to be exact, when the bankruptcy and the casinos and the hotels basically shut down. So he's used to this. Look at him now with true social 6.5 billion. Whether you like him or don't like him, this dude don't I give up. That for those of you guys that watch the podcast regularly and maybe you have hot tea like me with honey. Or you drink your mm-hmm. coffee to the coffee community. I'll most likely join you guys in five years, but mm-hmm. at this point, I still don't need coffee. We have these new mugs, and by the way, this new mug that just came out is the PBD Podcast mug Take with Future Looks Bright on it. So let me kind of show this to you, and I'll tell you what we're running on this podcast. And Kelly uh, took care of this. Let me pour this so I don't burn. I'm myself. taking. One. I'm, I'm acquiring uh, one of those watch after this. This here. So you pour the hot water in there if it's hot. Ooh, man. And guess what it turns into, by the way, while you're having this hot tea or the drink. Let me see if this thing is hot. Is it, it is hot? hot. All of a sudden, slowly oh. but surely, uh-huh. you see the color changes. I see it to the PBD podcast colors. Oh, that's sick. And yes, you'll see the mm. red and the blue. Of PBD podcast color coming in. I don't Sick. know. If the Pat, you're like one of those models not. on those late night, yeah. like by the uh, QVC. QVC back in the day. Yeah, your, QVC, so, your PBD QVC. Here's what we're doing. We got the value tainment mug. You have two different op, four different options on whichever one you want to get, whether it's the gold, the black, the red, the OG, red or the black. You buy two. You get the third one for free. Pick and mm. choose which one you want. The link's going to be below. The discount code is going to be PBD. Mugs, I believe. Right, Rob? PBD Mugs, plural. PBD M-U-G-S. And what's the website to go to? VTMerch.com. Find the mugs, order two, and you'll get the third one for free. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.